Hello everyone. So after not too too long of a wait, we have season two of the Cuphead show. I was a huge fan of the first season. Very, very much excited for the second season. So I'm happy we got it so soon, basically within like five, six months since the first season aired, if I'm correct in my math and memory <laughs> there. But this season is, of course, you'll find it on Netflix and it is 13 episodes long. Each episode is kind of about 15 minutes long, but there's some longer ones that are close to 25 minutes in this. I believe there was two episodes that were about 25 minutes long in this. But yeah, lots of content to get into, talk about. But yes, without further ado, The Cuphead Show, season two. This is my review for it. Let's get into it. So of course, this series is more of just the misadventures of the impulsive Cuphead and his very cautious but persuadable brother, Mugman, and of course based off of the video game Cuphead. So again I absolutely love the first season of the Cuphead show. I found that it just did an amazing job just again illustrating who these characters are, where they come from, again the origin stories of the villains. I found the music was great, the style of the show, the animation, everything like that was also good. Voice acting was incredible. All of that stays the same or elevates itself within this season. It's exactly what a season two should be. Just a step up, but more of what made, again, just the first season as great as it was. We get a lot more of the villains that we see from the DLC and, of course, the original video game. And I found that they did a better job illustrating, again, who these villains are, where they come from, and, again, just the <laughs> adventures and just, again, very scary trials that the two brothers find themselves in when it comes to dealing with these, of course, just very, very terrible <laughs> beings that are haunting them for uh, sometimes very good reason. But, of course, we're always cheering for Cuphead and Mugman in this. I found the humor this time around was a lot better and just the animation style was a lot more flashy a lot more of course too just in ways very very unique <laughs> um i found there's a lot of inspiration that they're able to take from things like looney tunes i found was one of the biggest inspirations that they went off of but it's definitely again one of those shows that sometimes you watch it and you're wondering if this is actually a kid show <laughs> because of how dark and brutal and scary some of the animation is but it's something that i find easily Kids can enjoy, might scare them a little bit, but adults can very much enjoy too because of the humor, how goofy it is, how dark some of it can get. And of course, too, just any fan of the video game will absolutely love what this show does. It just takes basically from the video game straight onto the small screen, I guess, for TV sake. It just does an amazing job translating everything that made those games so much fun to play, so much fun to watch and enjoy. I find, again, just to some of the best voice acting when it comes to cartoons out there right now. It's really, really good. The writing's awesome. I find the episode length is absolutely perfect to tell these little stories every now and then. And I'm glad that for a few of the episodes, they did take a bit of a step further and make them longer because the longer episodes don't feel over long at all. It feels like the story needed to be that way. And just to illustrate, again, some of the villains, some of the origins, some of the new landscapes that they travel to. You definitely got to put it on the back burner thinking like, how are they moving around so fast? And how's time only gone by so slow? But it's so much fun. And again, they just do an amazing job. Um, I just I really like too how they really I mean, this sounds bad out of context, but make fun of like the body shape of all of these characters. They have a lot of fun just using elements of Cuphead and Mugman. Like there's one episode where they get strung up by their handles with knives and kitchen utensils on the wall. Um, lots of really fun things that Elder Kettle is able to do. A lot of um, really cool things that, of course, Chalice is able to do in this as well. Just make really great use of, again, too, the abilities that they have in the video games and adding that to storytelling within the show. It's really, really cool. I definitely have my standout episodes that I really, really like, but there wasn't really one that I could say overshadowed everything else. I found every episode was so stellar, so solid, where I, the first season definitely had my standouts. Again, the same thing where I liked every single episode, but I knew which ones I liked more than the others, where in this one, I definitely really enjoyed everything and there's not really kind of that gap between, oh, I love this episode, but only like this episode. I loved this season that I get into. I just found it really elevated everything that it absolutely needed to. Stayed, things stayed the same that absolutely needed to. They just did a really good job balancing the show and making it damn near perfect. I also too love that the final episode ends on a really nasty cliffhanger that I was not expecting it to. And it gets me extremely excited for season three that's 
maybe i don't think we'll get by the end of this year but probably early next year very excited for whatever they have in store because the animation style is so good again just everything that goes into the show is absolutely magical you can tell that they cared so much making the games of this and that translates exactly the efforts and everything into making this show it's so great and easily one of my favorite animated shows on netflix right now it's something that I highly have to recommend to anyone who's, especially if you're a fan of the Cuphead series, definitely watch this show again. It just elevates everything you're going to love about the games. And yeah, it's just, it's so damn good. <laughs> so definitely add it to your watch list. It's very easy to binge through. Again, the episodes aren't too, too long. Very easy to get through, even if you want to watch it on 1.5 speed. You're not really going to miss anything. It goes through <laughs> very, very nicely if you've been in the time crunch because a lot of TV and just, well, there's so much media coming out right now. But this is definitely something I think everyone should add to their list because it's just such a great cartoon and everything amazing about like the old school cartoons makes their way and blends that really well with more modern day tropes and humor and things like that. Very, very fun. Very awesome. And with everything they can be there, I'm going to have to get season two of the Cuphead show 9.5 out of 10. It was almost damn near perfect in my eyes, but I absolutely loved every single second of it. Really, really great. Again, just elevated everything that I absolutely needed to from the first season. And it's again, it's just going to be one of my favorite animated shows of the year. Can't wait for season three. Just can't wait for more. I hope this show keeps on going on and on and on and on because it's just that damn good so if you've seen season two of the cuphead show please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below and of course if you like this review definitely give it a thumbs up and you can check out everything i do on this channel thing replace down below and i'll link some up top here for convenience sake thank you for subscribing and turning that little ring around so you know when i upload new videos if you want to check out the description of this video on my channel bio there's a link to the media mountain which is my discord where we talk about movies video games comic books tv Pretty much everything that's awesome in this world. So you can definitely join that amazing community. Help make it even more amazing than it is already. And yeah, just awesome, guys. Sky blue eyes. I see a world behind them. No more time. Sinking into the side.